You find Seven strumming a guitar on the beach. He's very focused and hasn't noticed you. He picks a few chords here and there, trying out a few melodies. Uh-huh. Eventually, he notices you and and startles. Hey. Hey, sheesh. Way to spoil your present. I was hoping to surprise you. Uh. I wrote you a song. It's probably terrible, so it's okay if you don't like it. Let's hear it. Thanks. Stop being self-deprecating. Let's hear it. <laughs> <clears throat> I just wanted to give you something small. Nothing else. Nobody else has heard it yet. You can make this one of your songs when you go solo. It's called Lola in Verona. Is this the song? The song I've been listening to in the, the main menu this whole time? This is a song. This is Lola in Verona. Oh my goodness. The more I'm more of a dancer than a singer, so there's no lyrics. Just my feelings, okay? Seven plays guitar, carefully avoiding looking at you as he plays. Close your eyes, look over to see, watch him carefully. Ooh, I wanna look over to see. You let your eyes wander the ocean as you listen and join the pairing. You spend a peaceful moment together, joined by music. Hey! Oh, who's that? Hey! A, ye a voice yells out over the beach, interrupting your moment as the sun sets. You! Leave him alone! Who is this? Ugh. How dare you, Lola? I trusted you. I pet cats with you. You, you, Yoko. What? Excuse uh, me? Huh. Don't give me that. You know what you did. Uh. Uh, lady, I don't know what you're talking about, but you have to calm down. Ugh. He broke up Blade Generation. The best band ever. The fan club knows everything. Her lower lip trembles and her eyes fill with tears. So she's angry at me. I did not break up Blade Generation. It's all the fault of evil, evil Lola and his sexy wiles. <laughs> uh. Hold on now. You think I'm not capable of making my own decisions? That's insulting. Uh huh. You're a pure sweet boy. No mortal deserves you, especially that one. Wow, Olivia. That's quite insulting. Olivia points at you accusingly. Blade Generation still has Sungwoo. Get a new hobby. Want me to break that finger? Blade Generation yeah. still has Sungwoo. Yeah, he's your favorite anyway, right? No sweat. But but Sungwoo's gone back to Korea and and I just I thought I could be the one. The one for what, Olivia? Uh. Love doesn't always work out the way we think it will. Lola is my best friend. Nothing you say can change that. Yeah. I'm friends with Seven. <laughs> Olivia's <laughs> eyes leak and she starts making cho choking sounds. But you're still young. Lots of time left to make your mark. And cats love you. Sorry. You could be a backup dancer. <laughs> I don't even know if she dances. I'm going to say, uh, and cats love you. I don't care about dancing or even cats right now. And I don't need your advice. Jeez. Jeez. Olivia hates me. I'm just going to go. Please do, Olivia. No one invited you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but no one invited you. <laughs> Later. Take care. Olivia trudges off through the sand, eyes on the horizon. You both watch her go, wishing the best for her. You blush to realize Seven staring into your eyes. Huh. I huh. guess the world is finding out about Blade Generation and about us. About our best friendship ever. <laughs> I feel so lucky I have your support in the adventures to come. When I met you, I was in a deep depression, consumed with envy and bitterness. I'm glad he's not depressed anymore. Now, I have so much to look forward to. I have so much energy. Way to go, Seven! You're gonna live the life you want to truly live. It feels like a dream. One where you stepped in and made 
everything better. I'm the medic. Hmm. But you'll have to put up with my fans. Olivia won't be the only one who's upset. Are you okay? One step at a time. We'll be fine. You'll protect me, right? I'll take care of myself. We'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, we will. Best friends take things as they come together. And you can wield me when I'm feeling weak on my own. We'll be an unstoppable team. Lover rank six. So we got survivor. Chain lightning damage is higher when you're low health. That's excellent. Chain lightning damage. Chain lightning affects two extra enemies. I like that one even more. <laughs> Seven smiles at you. Fingers wandering over the guitar. It's getting chilly, and I think a new Chronosite episode just came out today. <laughs> you head home together and watch some shows comfortably together on the couch. My best friend and me. When he leaves in the morning, his guitar stays behind, tucked under your bed. You have reached max love level with seven. Sweet. Do I have any more dates? Let's see what Seven has to say. Hey! Cool shades. Yeah. I'll come get my guitar sometime. I figure no rush, right? We gotta hang out anyway. As much as possible before you go home. Time goes by so quickly. It does. See you soon, I hope. I'll see you soon. I think I have to... Uh, maybe another date with that cat. Right? There's a date right here. And I think that's the only one. Yep. So let's see. Go on a date! Ow. Yeah, you find Pocket wandering outside the mall. You follow him until he stops in front of a pet shop. He pulls something out from a hiding place under a bench and nudges it towards you. What is this? Cat ears. Oh, very cute. <laughs> the cat ears look like they'd fit you perfectly. Pocket's ears are perked up proudly. Thanks, kitty. Oh, you shouldn't have. Really, you shouldn't have. <laughs> You think you hear a faint purring in response. Then his eyes wander to the pet shop's pet store's front window. There's a display of pet mice and birds available for purchase. Pocket drools. Uh, I should... Wait, they're actually animals. I should buy fake ones for him to play with. Pocket releases a little wheezy sigh of longing. You notice a familiar street cat approach. Pocket tenses up, claws at the ready. The street cat slows as she gets into range of Pocket's attack and finally sits just out of reach. Pocket's fur f fluffs up with his tension, but he doesn't move. He doesn't know what to do. Think of the Smilodon. Don't back down. Think of the Smilodon. <laughs> Your voice makes him startle and he jumps, panic in his eyes. I think either way, this is gonna happen because my voice would have spoke. The street cat steps forward menacingly. Pocket loses his nerve and dodges between your dodges between your legs, transforming into a weapon. The street cat pauses, staring up at you and Pocket. Her tail twitches. Go away. He's with me. He's not a fighter, okay? He's with me. Go away. He's with me. Meow. Somehow it sounds like a solemn pro pronouncement of some kind. What is the cat saying? Huh? Olivia almost bumps into you on her way out of the pet shop. <gasps> oh, it's you. Get out of my way. Wait. Hey, I know this cat. That's Asarte, my old roommate's cat. What are you doing here, girl? That cat is beat up. What? How your old roommate let their cat get like that? Meow. <coughs> Olivia reaches down to pet her, her head, but Asarte slinks just out of range, ears flat. She was a rescue and always moody. You mean feral? You mean a jerk? We should call animal control. Uh -huh. Don't you dare. Those people abuse and kill cats all the time. You can't. Asarte is mean sometimes, but she has magic powers. Really? It was like she could teleport out of a locked room. Poor kitty. She's probably just really strong and sneaky and smart. Or, I mean, maybe she's a magical cat witch leading a secret cat coven. Who knows? This cat is just mean, Olivia. This cat is just mean. Hiss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you show Lola. 
Olivia, you're mean too. Get out of my face. I, I'm so tired of you. <laughs> you deserve better friends than him anyway. Hmm. See ya. Olivia walks away and Sote watches for a moment before finally standing. Meow. The street cat wanders away after her pronouncement. You reach down to Pet Pocket and he accepts your touch. You're not sure what the street cat said, but something has changed. I am so confused right now. What is this new power? Resilient. You'll briefly become invulnerable after a finisher. That is amazing. You realize Pocket's leaning into your hand and a soft purr is starting to rumble. Pick him up. You scoop Pocket into your arms. At first, his claws are 18 little knives, but soon they retract. Pocket purrs loudly, snuggling his face into your elbow. Into my elbow? Aren't I standing? As if to escape thoughts of fighting. I don't know how he's on my elbow, but okay. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah. Uh, Pocket, uh, would you like to chew these sneakers? I don't know. Can I read you a love letter, Pocket? You want to tear up this book? I don't know. <laughs> These are horrible gifts for a cat. Sneakers. Yeah, level six with Pocket, I guess. Pocket sticks his head into one of the sneakers, fascinated by the smell. I'm glad you love the new toy. You spend the afternoon together until Pocket gets distracted by a pigeon and runs off. You head home. I would love to imagine Pocket running home after the pigeon with the shoe still on his head. That would be amazing. Oh my god, look how cute he is! Okay. <laughs> He's awesome. Oh, sorry, wrong number. Have you seen Pocket? He hasn't been here in a few days. I hope he's okay. Uh, he's not here. Oh. Uh, you smell something outside the door. Smell? You, you feel something. Something. The best way to describe it is a presence. Um, I'm gonna open the door. You open the... Is this cat hitting on me? What the heck is happening right now? <laughs> you open the door to find the one-eyed street cat Asarte staring at you. She flicks her tail and walks away, looking back to see if you're, fo you're following. Chase her or follow? Okay, let's follow. You follow the cat at the, a safe distance. She leads you through the streets, her paws making no sound on the concrete. This is so weird. You wonder, you wonder that the city, sh blah, blah, blah. you wonder that the city seems oddly empty for such a beautiful evening. She turns and you seem to have lost her in an alley's shadows. Where did she go? Here kitty kitty, pocket you there? A rumble of thunder shakes the sky, but there are no clouds. Your eyes adjust and you see green and yellow eyes blink at you from all sides. All sides? I'm surrounded by cats? After a moment, you realize it's not thunder, it's purring. Hundreds of cats surround you, watching intently, ready to pounce. What? As if by one mind, they all rush and flow past you. And you are swept along with them. So I'm being carried by hundreds upon hundreds of cats somewhere. Why is it not showing me this image? This looks amazing. You find yourself back at the park. At a hole in the hedge you never noticed before. The cats flow into the hole in the hedge. You think you see Asarte's tail flick as she ducks inside too. The part looks the same, yet somehow larger. Larger? Did I get transformed into a cat? Or have you grown smaller? What's happening? Nobody answers. It seems whatever lies ahead you must do yourself without his help or protection. What is that? That looks amazing. I, I'm so fascinated by what's going on right now. I hope this is not a dream. You hesitate, noticing that your hands have become paws. The hole glows ominously. My hands have become paws. That's so awesome. <clears throat> you step forward, enjoying the cool of the earth against the pads of your paws. Whoa! Cat world. This is what um 
This is what Pocket showed me at that one moment when we were having that moment of peace when I was staring right into Pocket's eyes. Peace washes over you in this place, smelling of herbs and summer afternoons. In a way of in the way of dreams, Pocket and Sorte look at you and you understand what's happened. You sense Pocket has been fighting for you. Literally clawing to get you accepted here as a brother cat. What? Pocket wants me to be a cat? Wow. So Pocket is like how Valeria was with Jake. So that cat is like Jake. That's so uh, so funny actually. Eventually Asserte accept, accepted you as part of the extended feline family in a place beyond fighting. Wow, I'm part of the Roses of Venus. I'm part of this extended feline family. I'm part of everything. Before you know it, your fur is combed by a comforting tongue. A rumbling purr shakes your rib cage. Oh, final love rank. What's this? Soki. After you're hurt, the next attack will do more damage and immobilize. After you're hurt, get a speed boost. I don't need a speed boost. I like immobilization. But I'm not a cat. Groom, purr. You look in his eyes and feel deep abiding familial love as he grooms you like a brother. I'm gonna purr. You luxuriate in the gentle affection like having your hair brushed. Pocket licks your forehead in affection. You sense Pocket is not his true name. But that you are beyond names here. He's grateful that you believed in him. And he give, he's given you his deepest trust. You fall asleep in a long sunbeam. Longer than a lifetime of afternoons. This has been the greatest date. I think in this whole game. Who would have thought that I would have been turned into a cat? You wake up warm and refreshed, but with a heavy weight on your chest. After a moment of disorientation, you inspect your paws, your hands, their hands again. Fully awake, you see Pocket is asleep on top of you, nuzzled into your neck. Wow. Eventually, Pocket gets up and stretches, watching you curiously. Am I a wear cat now? I'm gonna say I love you. I love you. Pocket pauses, then begins washing his paw. Maybe he's hiding a smile. He looks comfortable in your apartment. It occurs to you that you've never seen him quite so at ease. After a moment, Pocket jumps with a chair up and slips through your open window. You watch him pick his way along the rooftops. He looks back at you, tail curled. Wave, slow blink, meow, y'all got meow back. Pocket hesitates only a moment, blinking slowly before he slinks away into the cityscape. You have reached maximum love level with Pocket. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. This was amazing. Hey, is everything okay? Pocket was gone all night. Yeah, he was with me. Yeah, he was with me. I'm not gonna lie. Good. Woo. Phew. Cats are more like roommates than pets, you know? Roommates with fuzzy tummies. You gotta give them freedom. Oh, well. I'm glad he has you as a friend. Thanks. Smiley face. Now, I got everyone max level. Oh, I didn't get everyone max leveled. You, what? what's going up with you? You, what's going on? Where's the date? Where's my date? Okay, hold on. Sawyer, building H room five. Okay, I gotta go to the college for the last date. All right, there's one more date. I'm so glad this is happening. This is amazing. Where's the college at? Naked Steel, where's the college at? Where's the college? Oh, the mansion? Love rank zero. Who's at the mansion? Where's the college at? I don't want to go to the mansion yet. Where's the college at? Who's at the mansion? Oh, Verona College. All right. I didn't even know this was here. <laughs> You arrive at the classroom to find Sawyer being scolded by their history professor. History professor, okay. Looks very young. 
You simply cannot survive in this world if you're always forgiven for every mistake. Yep. I know, I'm really sorry, but I'll make it up to you. The professor raises an eyebrow as he notices you. Okay, I, I walked in. Are you here for the next class? We're almost done. No. No, he's with me. As a friend, I ask for support. Hmm. Support? Am I so very intimidating? Even to someone as sharp as yourself? Professor, please. If you let me retake the test, I'll show you. I know the material. What happened? Did you cheat again? I'm not going to say that in front of them. What happened? I was a few seconds late turning in my final and he gave me a zero out of a hundred. Oh. Ah. Please, Professor, I'm begging you. I really need this credit. Mm -hmm. I have no interest in your groveling. It's the policy. You knew the rules. I'm just being fair to the other students. That's true. That is true. Like, as you get older, there's penalties for being late. Uh -huh. If I fail this course, everything is ruined. I can't afford to take it again. They've learned their lesson. Have mercy, sir. It's just a class. They've learned their lesson. Have they, though? Or have they learned they just need to cry a little bit to get their way? The professor looks at Sawyer thoughtfully. They're not manipulating you. Let's let Sawyer answer. Hmm. Ha. Huh. I don't think I should be fighting Sawyer's battles. Let Sawyer answer. Sawyer takes a deep breath. I understand that you have to punish me. I know my choices have consequences. But... I worked really hard the rest of the semester. Please take that into consideration. Oh, very well. I'll only dock 20% off of your grade. Now off with you both. Sawyer murmurs a quick thank you and they leave the classroom in a hurry. You can't fight all their battles with them, you know. Some things they have to face on their own. Yeah, that's why I let Sawyer talk. You follow Sawyer out and you walk in silence together for a few minutes. And we walked all the way to the beach from the university, it seems. You find yourself by the beach. Sawyer looks out over the ocean thoughtfully. I almost totally tanked my semester there just by not paying attention for a few minutes. How are you not paying attention during the test? You're wandering. You're like staring off into space. It's scary how quickly things can change. Like when you cook something at a heat that's too high. <laughs> Is that why? Everything catches fire because you don't pay attention for a few seconds. Thanks for trying to help. Your support means a lot. No problem, Sawyer. I just wish education only measured my learning and cared less about rules and conforming. Rules are useful sometimes. Yeah, they're often there for a reason and keep us safe. I know, but some rules are just there to give someone power over someone else, you know? And... And... No matter how hard you try, someone with power over you can take everything away. Not everything. They can't take everything yeah. away. Nobody can stop us, right? I wasn't talking about that, but... Love is something they can't take away. Sawyer, Sawyer's moving fast. Sawyer leans into you for a long hug. I'm, I'm comfortable with a hug, Sawyer. They wipe their eyes. Come on, chef. Semester's over. Summer's coming to an end. It's just me and you. Let's celebrate. I'm hungry. What do you say we grill up something on the beach barbecue? You handle the fire part, and I'll get go get some ingredients. What do you want? My treat. Burgers, vegetables, whatever. Uh -huh. Grilled eggs and blueberries. The soil special. <laughs> coming right up. You're not giving me cough medicine again, are you? <laughs> You spend the evening grilling and chatting, watching the sunset. You know, Lola, I wouldn't have survived this semester without you. Financially, academically, or nutritionally. I don't know what you're planning on after this summer, but... But... <laughs> even if you leave Verona Beach, I'll always love you. Oh! I maxed out all their levels. Throw also stuns enemies so they cannot attack. Throw does damage again on the return. I thought it already does that. Alright, I'll go with the stun. I learned so much from you this summer. I am stronger. More resilient person now because of you. But I've been wanting to ask, why do I oil the pan for potatoes but not bacon? <laughs> 
You discuss cooking techniques, but somehow it leads to a long sandy kiss. Sandy? We get sand all over our lips? Eventually, you both rearrange your clothes and go home. You have reached maximum love rank with Glaive. Why did why didn't say their name? Why well, I said Glaive with Glaive? It said with Pocket. It said with Valeria. It said it. It said all of the, their names, but with this person, it just says with Glaive. That's kind of weird. Sawyer, hope you're having a good day, Chef. You too. You bet. If you put in effort to have a good day every day, then after you leave Verona Beach, you'll remember it as a happy place. One where your love, Sawyer, is waiting for you patiently and come back soon. Deal? Deal. <laughs> right, I'll come back someday. Good. That's all we can do. All right. Love level maxed. Six, 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 six. All sixes across the board. Hey guys, thank you for watching my Boyfriend Dungeon series. The next video is the series conclusion. Be sure not to miss it. With that said, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out. And no matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye.